pay close attention. Radial carpal, medial to lateral. Now, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to take this hand here to stabilize the radius and ulna, distal radius and ulna. I'm going to find the proximal row of the carpals. I'm going to use an index contact. I'm going to put my other fingers underneath the, the palm here. I'm going to then take a little tissue pull in here to get to this proximal row. You tend to push the patient into your abdomen a little bit. And now I'm going to radially deviate. I'm radially deviating her wrist. And my right hand is going to impulse this direction. So this is really, technically, this is lateral to medial in anatomical position. But I think just for simplicity in your notes, I said medial to lateral only because... We're going medial to lateral. Okay. Really, if you think about it, it's lateral, it's lateral medial to medial in anatomical position. So, stabilize the radius and ulna. You can use a couple of things, depends on the size of the patient's wrist. Find the proximal row. I'm going to take this index contact, slide down with a little bit of tissue, pull so you get some tissue there. I, these fingers, everything underneath is going to help to radially, radially deviate her. Stabilize in here, and then with my right hand index, I impulse. This direction. <laughs> What's the matter? You just farted. <laughs>